Hey guys, so we're talking about beliefs again and the beliefs of what you deserve. Now, this could be a career, this could be work, this could be a relationship, this could be working in a job location, this can be kind of about anything. Example for me is, I did not, because I was in a work environment in retail planning, that was toxic. Hmm. Yeah, it was toxic. And so... I didn't know I deserved better. I thought all departments were like this. All retail planning sections were like this. And so uh, I got let go. They had a downsizing. The company wasn't doing so well. Uh, the market had shifted. And so I got some time off and uh, just really did not spend the time I should have about what are my expectations of my future employer? What should they be like? It took me a few months to get out. And to think about that, I eventually did. And, you know, what I want my employer, I want to be appreciated by my boss. I want to work with coworkers who are friendly and who work hard together. And I want this pay raise. And I wanted this kind of, you know, work lifestyle and work balance. And I did get, I got a great job um, somewhere else, which was fantastic. And I had all of those balances. And I got everything that I wanted that I had written down. What's interesting is, those are my beliefs that why did I not believe higher? You know, I went from like, I got a 20% pay bump, which was great. Uh, I got working in the field I wanted to work in, in the division I wanted to work in, in e-commerce. I had great employees who I worked with who were funny and my boss was great. Then I'm thinking, why did I not shoot higher? Isn't there a song that, you know, shoot for the stars and land for the moon or something like that? Why did I not shoot for the stars? Why... Did I let this belief system think I could only earn this much more or get this amount of pay or switch to this career when I could switch to anything I want? Some need degrees, but in retail planning, uh, you don't really need that. So that's one thing. When you think of your goals, think of a massive goal you want. And if it doesn't scare you, think of an ultra massive goal. If you want to make, I don't know, 100,000 this year, you know, maybe you are, maybe you want to go to 250, maybe 275, maybe 300, maybe a million. What goal kind of scares you to ask? It's a little unbelievable, but yet it still scares you. Find out what that goal is and go for it. A goal that kind of scares you. Okay, guys, have a great day. Bye.